It's inside this rugged national park that a massive rescue effort is underway, with roads, tunnels and trails blocked by fallen rock from landslides. Emergency teams have been pushing in on foot and getting people to safety by air, including children trapped since the earthquake hit. Others managed to walk out. For days, rescue teams have been working to reach hundreds of people stranded inside this national park. Helicopters have been taking supplies to them, like food and water, until they're able to airlift them out. Most of the people are stuck at a hotel inside the park, where they're said to be safe. But several others, including foreigners, have been reported missing. Already, at least five bodies have been recovered from the debris. Those who are rescued are brought here, a staging area near the park's entrance. Among them, this family visiting Taiwan from Seattle Mama. on a day trip to the Taroka Gorge National Park to go hiking. We were safe at the time. We were at the hotel, not on the payload okay. mountains. What did it feel like being in the hotel when it happened? It was just really hard. With the window for finding survivors closing, rescuers say time is crucial. The biggest challenge hampering the operation, aftershocks. More than 400 and counting. And rain could cause even more rock to slide. We see many people, they got injuries uh, their back or some injuries by the rock, hit by the rock. So we have got the flutter. Taiwan is accustomed to earthquakes. That it's prepared helps stave off wide-scale disaster. In Hualien, they're repairing roads and cleaning up. That building leaning precariously, now being demolished. While in the mountains, rescuers say the work will continue until they get everyone. Janice Mackey Freyer, NBC News at Taroko Gorge National Park, Taiwan. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.